Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is data frame in PySpark. A data frame in PySpark is a table-like structure that organizes data into rows and columns, just like an Excel sheet, a SQL table, or Pandas uh, data frame. It helps uh, process uh, big data efficiently by using multiple computers at the same time. So if you have uh, seen a SQL table, you have uh, rows and column, you have seen Excel that has rows and column. So a data frame is exactly kind of like that. Now, what are uh, different uh, features of uh, data frame? It looks like a table has columns and uh, uh, specific data types. It has a uh, fast and scalable, works well with a large data sets, works with different uh, uh, data sources. You can uh, read CSV files, JSON, Parquet, databases, etc. Now, allows SQL queries as well. You can write your SQL commands and filter uh, by using where clause and group by and all that. So that's uh, different uh, actions you can perform on the data frame in PySpark. Now, here we are using uh, uh, one function called create data frame and we will be creating a data frame from some static values. So there are multiple ways uh, in uh, SQL or other queries uh, you have seen sometimes you create a variable and uh, or array and then uh, you can use them. Here we are using also a kind of the same concept where I have some static values and we are going to create a data frame out of them. Now creating a data frame from a list of our tuples. So these are static values. A tuple is a standard Python data structure that holds ordered values. Uh, when uh, used in PySpark, each element in the tuple represent a row in the data frame. So if you see right there, so I have uh, just this first is uh, just you can see how I use the comments here and uh, also I use the markdown uh, in different cells uh, to present this notebook a little clean and uh, please watch the previous videos where I have showed all those like how to use the comments and markdown. Uh. Now import rows to define structure records uh, we are importing that uh, so from PySpark uh, SQL import row that's uh, the code uh, we are using to uh, for the uh, import row to de define uh, structured records. Uh. Once uh, that is imported, then uh, we are defining uh, a list of uh, tuples. Uh, and here uh, I said, okay, the data is equal to these uh, three tuples. Uh, so this is one tuple, the other one, and another one. Uh, and these are the different values in them. Uh, now, if we would like to create uh, the data frame out of it, uh, we can uh, say DF, that's a data frame. You can give any name that you want. You can call it ABC data frame or whatever the name you want to give for your data frame is equal to spark.create data frame. So that's the function you will be using uh, to create the data frame. And then uh, you will provide uh, the, that uh, uh, list of the tuples here. So data, that's where we have uh, all the tuples in this uh, uh, array. So we provide that and once we do that, now the data frame will be ready and we can use the dot data frame dot show to see the records in the data frame. So let's go ahead and execute this cell and see how our output look like. Our uh, Spark jobs are running and now finally we have our output right here. So you can see that we have name, age and ID. So if you see name, age and ID, so see, this, this is a, one of the thing I was doing some testing and I messed up the whole thing. I put the ID here and uh, I'm going to take the ID from here and put in the front because now uh, they should be in the same order and uh, that's where it is going to present some nice data instead of I totally messed up. So ID uh, and name and the age. So each row tuple has the values and in the same kind of order. So now if I do that, it did read it, but it read the null for age. So if you see that I had ID at the end, so that's why it messed up the whole uh, thing. Now let's uh, rerun and uh, then uh, our data should be more correct. Now we have ID listed well and name, and then we have age. And uh, you can see that these were the uh, different tuples and uh, this was uh, uh, we first created uh, the data frame and then uh, finally we showed uh, uh, the records uh, which were loaded to the data frame uh, by using the spark.create data frame uh, uh, function. Now let's go to the next one and here we also are using the uh, same way we are defining some static values and uh, but uh, these are called list of uh, dictionaries. So in uh, uh, tuples you see that we have rows here and then the values were like uh, you know you have id column one and all that so here uh, we have uh, kind of in a little bit different way. 
So a dictionary list is a list of dictionaries uh, where each dictionary present a record with the key value pair. So you see right there, so you have, uh, uh, there is, uh, if this is one key pair, value pair, this is another one and this is another one. So you have ID, name and age. So a little bit different way to present that in uh, tuples. You have these, uh, you uh, have the array here on the top, then you have a row inside and then small parentheses. Here with the dictionaries, uh, you will be presenting with curly brackets and uh, then each pair uh, value will be right here. And uh, then uh, once you have data set uh, defined, that's, uh, uh, then what you will do, you will say data frame. So any, any it's like a variable, whatever the name you want to give, you know. So you can uh, g give uh, data flow, let's say we will say data flow one, okay. Uh, data frame one, sorry. And then uh, we will use the create a data frame and load this data into data frame one. And here, uh, if I will say data frame one dot show, it's going to show me that. So I will go ahead and execute now. And you can see that uh, uh, it read all the values. And uh, then uh, uh, we have uh, age, ID, and name. In the next videos, uh, we will also work on the, like uh, if we want to show only ID or uh, age or uh, name and all those kind of things, and which one we want to show first, uh, and how to filter and all that uh, in the next videos we'll take care of them i want to make this uh, video small so you define the data uh, doesn't matter it's a set, set of uh, tuples or uh, you have a list of dictionaries and then you can uh, you load that data by using create a data frame function into the data frame and once a data frame is populated then you will be able to do all different operations in our case we did only show in this video thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video